Okay, Yiko, clean the kitchen. Okay, start area cleaning. The Roborock S7 Max V Ultra and the Ecovacs D-Bot X1 Omni are two of the best robot vacuum and mop combinations on the market at the moment due to the fact that they can wash themselves and empty themselves and refill the water containers. So they're probably the two most hands-free options on the market. They have a huge amount in common. Most of the features and specs are pretty similar, but there are a few key ones that mean that they're much better suited to different sorts of homes. So we're gonna go through those features and help to explain due to a very popular request, the differences and who is best suited for what model. So as I said, most of the features here are pretty similar. They both have about 5,000 pascals. They both have object avoidance, which uses a combination of a camera and a DTOF sensor on the front, which means that they're both about the best on the market for object avoidance. They use completely different styles for the mopping. The X1 uses the rotational mopping heads, whereas the Max-V uses the slightly vibrating ultrasonic mop. And one massive difference that you've probably already noticed is how different of an approach they've taken design-wise. Personally, I have a huge preference for the much more simple, minimalist style of the X1 Omni. It looks more like an appliance, whereas this here looks a lot like a tech gadget with its multiple containers. Let us know in the comments down below what you think is the best looking, because it is purely subjective. Now, the Omni Station has a four liter clean water tank, where the Ultra Station has a two and a half liter. This also has a two and a half liter auto empty dustbin, and this has a three liter one. The Omni Station is obviously a lot bigger, and it's partly down to the configuration as well. Like I mentioned before, it has the water containers side by side here, and then it has the dustbin and a bag system here. So the Omni Station being quite a lot bigger at 570 mils high, by 450 mils wide and the ultra station is 420 high by 420 wide. The Omni station has built-in mop drying capability which just stops it from starting to smell after a little while whereas the ultra station has it as an additional separate unit but it is often pretty hard to come by. This just means that after a while if it sits there a little bit damp particularly if it's warm it can start to smell a little bit. As you can see by the two domes on the top, they both use LiDAR technology for the mapping. This is just a little laser that spins underneath here and takes measurements of the room around it. So it's just constantly mapping. But on the first clean, they both do a, what we call a quick mapping, which it just drives into each room, takes a scan, goes into the next, and learns the house automatically that way. Looking at the actual cleaning performance, on the bottom we have the two mopping systems. The mop on the Max-V is a more traditional wider pad like this that just drags around and it also has an ultrasonic vibration. On the Omni here we have the two rotational ones that are more like a polishing gun. We're going to be putting these through side-by-side -side tests shortly. One of the other big differences is that they use a different style of brush. The Ecovacs X1 uses the combination brush which uses a bristle and a silicon brush whereas the Roborock uses the straight single roller rubber brush. There are pros and cons to either approach. The rubber one is better for getting less hair tangled around it, and when it does get hair in there, it goes in and around the edges and it's real easy to pull that out. Whereas on the bristle style brush, it's better at picking hair up, but it will get it tangled in and around it and it's a little bit harder as you'll have to cut the hair off. One of the other notable differences is that the S7 is significantly louder and I think that is actually partially down to the brush style as well. Obviously there's more at play there but I think that the brush is a big contributing factor. As a result of these brushes I've heard from other people had lots of feedback that the Omni is slightly better at pet hair than the Max-V. Uh, the Max-V if you have ragdoll cat hair or huskies or anything like that may start to struggle if it's got clumps of hair lying around. As I said before the mechanism of how it cleans is much, much more important than the extra 100 pascals of suction that the Max-V has. In general, the Omni will be slightly better on the carpet, but you won't actually notice much difference at all on the hard floor where the brush isn't quite so important for agitating it. Now, if you're observant, you've probably already noticed that the Omni has the two side brushes, whereas the Max-V only has the one. In reality, it actually doesn't make much difference because they'll always align the right-hand side of 
the robot with the wall as they clean around the room. As I mentioned, the Omni Station has the mop drying feature and I've just noticed that the mops on this are dry, whereas the Maxi one is still quite damp and we haven't actually used either of them yet this morning. Other than that, physically there's not a huge amount of difference and the specs are pretty similar across the board. We're just about to run our mopping test, so to do that we're going to set two separate little zones or areas for half the area each. On the Max V, you do that by selecting the zone and then on the Omni, drag the area out like so. As you can see, they're very similar, but the Omni one is definitely a little bit more fiddly to add those lines. For the mopping test, we've set up two exactly the same areas for them to test each, simulating mud, we've got milk, and we've also got some nice sticky grape juice. As you can see, we've left it on here for an hour or two, and the smeared ones are just starting to dry now. The idea for these mops is always just to get fresh spills, it's not to replace your deep clean in an old house. So this is a really good test to see how it performs. As you can see, because the Ultra stops in frontwards, it has to come out and then back itself in to wash the mop, whereas the Omni is already sitting in there with its mops on the back. So the robot is washing itself now. We've just finished our first pass. We normally do a couple of passes because it is quite a tough test and we've left it on to dry a little bit as well. As you can see, the Max V has done a lot better with that first pass. It's almost removed all traces. I'm sure it will get all of it on the second pass. I'm a little bit unsure how the Omni is going to do after that second pass though, looking at that, particularly that muddy brute pin in the middle there. I'm not sure if it's going to get it all. We'll have to see. So as you can see, after doing its second pass on the second run, the Omni has done a lot better and I'm a little bit confused why it was so bit poor the first time around. It seems like coming along the grain of the wood, it's actually removed it relatively easily, whereas on the first two passes it did very little. So you might not be able to see it from the camera, but there's a slight red hue from the grape juice left here. And then there's a little bit of a brown stain left here. Whereas on the Max V side of the room, uh, I could probably eat my dinner off it. So I must say that I'm pretty surprised by this. Uh, I really didn't expect that. I've always thought that the Omni was slightly better due to that rotating pad, but I guess the test can't really lie. There definitely was something to the grain of the wood affecting that rotating pad more than what it did on the drag around ultrasonic. Max V pad. This is a good test for anyone. So I'm just adding some grape juice, which is bright red and incredibly stainy to the mopping pads, and we'll see how well they do it removing it. I think we've probably ruined these. So in theory, I suspect that this is probably impossible, but we'll give it a go and see how they go. So I have no idea how this is done yet. Moment of truth. I'm actually surprised that it's done anything, to be honest, because that, that is red grape juice. And so, time to have a look at how the X1 has done. Again, it's pretty good. On both of them, the stickiness has actually been removed and just the color is left, which isn't too surprising, but there's no actual other residue. And you can see how it's done it. It's kind of swelled it around a little bit. 
Overall, once again, I've been pretty impressed by how well these things do actually manage to self-clean. It's unreasonable to expect them to remove the color because I don't think even a washing machine would do that. But it doesn't feel sticky to the touch and it means that it will continue to clean the floors rather than just smearing dirt around. Both these robots have cameras on board. They're mostly for the object detection, but you can also log in remotely and have a look at what it's actually seeing. So to test this, we've put up this little eye test just as a bit of fun, and you can see that Max V, you can actually read that fourth line down, whereas on the X1, it's pretty blurry. You'll also see that the X1 is quite a lot darker, and it's actually a little bit more grainy as well, which is really weird because generally on cameras, the more that it boosts the light, the more grain that you get. Now, most people probably don't use the camera function and log in and check the house that often, but I suspect that this extra resolution does translate to better object avoidance, particularly in dark spots and shadows in the house, because that's where that extra light will make a big difference. That brings me to the object detection. These are the two best robots that I've ever tested in this regard because they've got the dual systems. There isn't much noticeable difference between the two of them as a result. There is a bit of stuff online saying that the Max V is slightly better, but I haven't really been able to see much difference. Both of them did really well at never getting stuck. So I'm the guy behind the camera and I thought I'd just interject a little bit because I own a S7 Max V and I went through the whole process of choosing the different robots. In the end, my house is principally carpet and it has a little bit of hard floor in different places. And the mop lifting feature is what really got me. Um, that was really important for me because if the, I had the, the Omni, the X1, I would end up having to remove the, the mopping pads all the time and I don't think I'd end up using the, the mopping feature in the end. Whereas now I just clear up the house a bit in the morning, press the button, it goes out, mops all the hard floors and vacuums the house. So it works really well for me and it hardly ever gets stuck because of the object avoidance. So really good, I, I love it. To summarize, both of these robot vacuums and mops are incredible. They're at the top of the industry for a reason. Whichever one you pick, I'm sure you'll be absolutely stoked with and overall the specs are pretty similar and probably more confusing than helpful. There are a few little wins for either model though. For example, the Ecovax X1 is a better looking unit in my opinion. It's a little bit quieter when it's cleaning and it does a better job at vacuuming on thicker carpets because that brush does a better job at agitating it. Whereas the S7 Max V with that mop lifting function is a real game changer and it means that it can actually use that self wash station properly and utilize it and particularly if you have a mixture of carpets and hard floors. I also have a slight preference for the app of the Roborock but yeah as I said either way I both of them will do an exceptional job at being a hands-free cleaning solution and you'll love either one. As always, if you have any specific questions, make sure to ask them in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer them for you. Otherwise, give the video a like and subscribe because our dreamy L10S video is coming shortly. You may also want to check out our specific reviews for each of these models as they have a lot more detail in them.